Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Margarita, and if you're not, hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am testing out this influencer box. I was a gifted, or not really gifted, but I filled out a survey, and influencer was able to send me out a free product. Um, it's complimentary. It is not sponsored. It is not. I'm just literally doing a video and testing out this NYX foundation. It's the Born to Glow foundation, naturally radiant foundation, I guess. So I was like, why not just review it on my channel? Why not? Like I said, I don't know. Let's go into the video. So I haven't opened it yet. Well, I mean, I took it out of the bag, but I haven't opened this yet. So I have no idea what it looks like. Hopefully it's my shade. I don't know. <laughs> but this is what the inside looks like right here is a little kind of pamphlet I don't know congratulations you have been selected to receive the NYX born to glow box box introducing born to glow our first naturally radiant foundation that lets you be you in your glow shine through our hydrating creamy foundation blends into skin for glow enhancing natural coverage it says contains skin loving ingredients jojoba oil and vitamin E 45 diverse shades oh, that's bomb that there's 45 shades it is a medium to buildable coverage and I like my foundation like that where it's like light to medium to like medium to full it just really depends what i'm feeling but if it's buildable by all means very good so in here is just the foundation right here this is in the shade warm vanilla so i'm gonna apply the elf putty poreless primer poreless putty primer yes and then i'm gonna just apply this Ooh, everywhere so look at my eyebrows hello these are literally all natural the only product i put on was this brow setter like i didn't fill in my eyebrows i literally combed it and used this right here like i do have thickish eyebrows i have eyebrow hairs i don't know um but you know she's a little natural it's good she's cute i'm gonna go ahead and dive into this so it's in a squeeze tube what i can see it is so hopefully this is my shade we'll find out oh look that's good that it's sealed so <laughs> oh okay that's nice so it's like in a small like there's like a small hole there so thank goodness because i don't need it to like pour out to be like huge <gasps> oh my gosh i don't think you saw that oh my gosh this looks so light oh my gosh look at it <laughs> But don't worry, I, I think I saw in the picture that it oxidizes. I hope. Maybe. So I'm just gonna put this here. It's kind of... So a lot of people don't like squeeze tube foundations, which, I mean, I'm not really against it. I'm just like, eh. okay. I mean, it is what it is. If, if this can honestly do a great job... I don't see why not. Now my mom can say que tengo la cara blanca. And I'm just gonna blend this out. Look at me being a real beauty guru. I, f I switched out my beauty blender only for this video. So yeah, so this blender, I'm using the Beauty Bakery blender. Mm. I don't know what to talk about like when I do my foundation. I know I've done like foundation reviews, but it's just kind of like, I find it so weird. Cause like, I don't, not the foundation review. What I'm trying to say is like, I find it, so weird like applying foundation like on camera because i don't know i feel like that's not interesting it's like oh my god because everyone does it the same i guess question mark mm, hello hi blend it down to the neck girl you're gonna be a bronze goddess today okay so the foundation does say that it is buildable so we about to test it so i'm just gonna build it up where i have my freckles it's kind of funny because, like, I make fun of myself because I have freckles. And <laughs> I will draw on freckles on top of my real freckles. Doing it this foundation. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so bad. So I'm going to take the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I was about to say foundation. And I'm just going to apply this on 
everywhere that I'm just kind of concealing. Honestly, I'm tempted to like move over there because my lighting right now is not doing me justice whatsoever. <laughs> and I'm going to see like how this is going to work out. Yeah. So the lighting might be better, question mark. I don't know. So I'm going to go in and just use some Cody Airspun. <laughs> So I'm just going to dip a different beauty blender in here. I'm actually so complicated when it comes to my beauty blenders and all that. Just for the fact... Oh, and it's from Beauty Bakery too. <laughs> um, Just for the fact that I don't like to mix my sponges. That if I used my sponge to do my foundation, I don't want to touch it with any powders at all. I'm like, that's going to be simply for my powders. That's it. Like, I don't, like, if I have to, I will, but I'm not going to. So, to make my face not look so white, I'm going to be using the Naturally Beige Milani Foundation Powder, or just powder, shine proof powder, question mark. I don't know, but I'm going to use them. And pretty much, like, as I'm doing this, I'm going to be wiping off the white powder as well. And bringing it down to my neck because... <laughs> Your girl needs to be one skin tone. And, you know, pretty much I'm just checking out to see how this foundation is gonna look on with these powders, with this primer. So the next thing I'm going in with bronzer, I'm using the Hoola Bronzer from Benefit Cosmetics. And if you watched my video, which I will link, <laughs> I freaking love this bronzer. Like, this bronzer is so freaking amazing. I know that it's always had, like, a lot of rave about it but holy cow i freaking love it but okay let's go so i'm really just like testing out to see how this foundation works with other products if it's gonna play well you know because if my foundation doesn't play well with certain products it is gonna be harder to do my makeup which is gonna be kind of eh so far, the foundation that I am highly obsessed with is the Benefit Cosmetics Soft Blur Foundation. And, <laughs> girl, I went and I purchased the bigger bottle when I literally said, I have to go and buy the bigger one. I think I did that, like, the next day. I have actually have not bought any makeup in the past two weeks. <laughs> Everyone's probably like, yay! And my mom in the background. Like, <laughs> and I'm like... La Llorona. So, hello. Oh, I almost fell right there. Nose contour, who? I mean, rhinoplasty, who? Just finessed, y'all. Where is my blush brush? There it is. I freaking love this blush brush so much. All that blush right there is literally from this. It is the Tarte Party Blush. Now, uh, I might have to go steal my mom's. Really pretty blush, so Tarte, if you can, please send me the bigger version of Party because I use this blush literally on the daily so just kind of picking it up slowly but gently I don't want to pick up too much just because it's like really crushed <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on my cheeks and I'm just gonna put it on the tip of my nose and then like the bridge of my nose like whatever I have left on this brush why I don't know I just kind of like it it's kind of cute I don't know for the longest I was really obsessed with the glow kit this is the sugar glow kit from ABH I freaking love 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 this glow kit so I'm gonna dip into my favorite gumdrop and butterscotch and I'm gonna just apply it on my cheekbones should I be like shocked should I just do the go like this and go like <gasps> oh my gosh y'all so that's pretty much it on the whole foundation review. Right now, my face looks really nice. It feels mad. I like it. And yeah, I'm going to be doing some check-ins. You are not going to see me like this. I'm going to pretty much have like makeup on and like eyeshadow because I'm doing a boxy charm unboxing. And <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. I will see you in the check-ins. Hey, guys. So I want to do a quick update look at my foundation like my face hello glowing yes i told you that i was gonna look different so hi hello how are you but right now it is 408 i think yeah like 408 i finished my makeup at 153 so so far the face she looks good <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm here for the last check-in of the day. It is 9.18 right now. I applied the foundation at 153, so so far it's been seven hours. 
question mark and my face has held up it looks pretty nice you guys are probably like what happened to your makeup and I ended up taking it off to film another video but I guess I have like video block right now where either my brain or my hand can only take like two videos and not to mention my brushes started breaking on me so that means I need to get new brushes <laughs> but anyways um I want to give influencer and NYX professional makeups a huge shout out for sending me a Vox box I am actually very pleased about the born to glow foundation it looks very nice very lightweight it is a light to medium medium to buildable coverage and yeah see like can we yes hello mm -hmm. it honestly looks like I don't have foundation on which it's kind of the point but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe comment down below and like this video and I will see you in the next one bye yeah.